And and what I want to do here is just kind of run through some options and let the juices start flowing about how you might choose to show your data. So in this first black traverse, we said, let's throw everything above the line for the, the tangents, and I split them on the uh, curves. Uh, this next one, the blue one, I said, let's make everything above and below. So just like we split the curve labels above and below, let's split the, the uh, line labels above and below. Let's take a look at how we did that. So I go into my control points, format labels, and now I do include the vertical line uh, here that says above and below. Now, if I wanted to use inside outside, I would simply replace that vertical line with this caret down here. And everything to the left of that caret would be outside. Everything to the right of that caret would be inside. In this particular traverse, since we're going clockwise to the right and curving to the right, inside would be below and outside would, would be above. So it's, it's, it's however you want to do this. For this video, I'm just doing uh, above and below. And again, I bracketed the distance and bracketed the uh, bearing. Now, I have brackets on my f stacked formatting because if the label doesn't fit, it's going to switch to the stacked. So let's see what, what actually happens with that. So let's take a look here now. And I can see that my distance is above, my bearing is below. But in the next segment where it doesn't fit, it stacks it. So it looks just like it had in the black traverse before I, I reoriented that stacked label. Now, if you want to switch these and you want to have bearing above and distance below, let's just go right back into that formatting and say, OK, I want bearing above and I want distance below. And when I apply that now, I see I've switched them. So really, it's, it's, it's really up to you how you want to format these. Once you get it set the way you want, use the Save Settings option and either override an existing setting or create a new one. And then I can reuse that over and over and over again, and I can have consistent looking, looking drawings because of it. OK, let's drop down to the red one here. And I've chosen Aligned Everything. So I'm aligning all of the uh, tangent labels and the curve labels, regardless of whether they fit. I've split them above and below, and I provided some extra spacing here. So let's take a look at how I did that first. In the uh, control points, I went to format. I specified the uh, distance above, the bearing below, and then I dropped down to this additional label offset, and I added 12 hundredths of an inch. So Traverse BC says, in addition to whatever label offset you chose for the drawing, and we can look to see where that is. I want you, for these particular labels, to add 12 hundredths. And I did the same thing in the curves. I said, uh, go ahead and add this 12 hundredths of, of an inch here. So the drawing itself uh, has a, um, a setting here in miscellaneous that says, what do you want for a label offset? And I think the default is 2 hundredths. So a label is going to be two hundredths away from the line. Okay, a point label is going to be two hundredths away from the uh, outside of the symbol. Uh, and in this particular case, I said I want some extra uh, distance in here. And I did that because maybe I want to show record data in brackets a little farther away from the line. And maybe I want to show the uh, measured data a little closer. Uh, let's just take a look at um, how we might might do that here. I'm going to go ahead and create a duplicate of this particular traverse. And you can see it draws it right over the, the top of it there. And let's go ahead and format this traverse a little bit differently. Let's go into this traverse. And remember how I said we could recall settings? Let's recall a setting here called property lines. Okay. And uh, we're going to tell Traverse PC in this property line setting that we want to draw a distance and direction, but there isn't any uh, extra distance specified here. Okay. Let's set this up the same so that we have distance above, direction below, but there are no brackets this time. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, force this to align everything, just like we did the other one. We'll do the same for the uh, curve labels here as well. We'll force everything to be aligned, and let's just make sure they're set up similarly here. I think that'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and apply this. Take a look at what we did here now. This is just kind of kind of fun. Um, you can see that I now have my uh, measured distance and direction in black, and those labels are close to the line. I have my record uh, distance and direction in brackets in red farther away from the line. So I just combined record and measured data without having to do hardly anything. And if I wanted to, I could come into this record traverse, and I could say, uh, don't even draw the lines. I don't, I don't need those there. And I don't need you to draw any of the symbols. So I could, I could turn the, the symbols to, to none. I'd make sure I turn off all the point labels. And now I won't even have um, anything drawn for the record data except for the labels. And again, the labels are set up just the way I want. Now there's no reason, and I just want you to be thinking about you know, how you prefer to do things, but there's no reason I couldn't put all the measured data above and all the record data below, or all the measured data outside and all the record data inside. And there's no reason the record data couldn't have parentheses instead of brackets, or angle brackets, or double parentheses, or double brackets. It's, it's really uh, up to you, and it opens up kind of a whole world of, of possibilities for how I might want to do that. Okay, Now, <clears throat> I, I split these in this example here, but I want you to see in the green example I combined the record data above. And this is why I said you might want to show the record data above and you might want to show the uh, measured data below. Uh, again, uh, I can do all of this without modifying any of the text. So the text is still associated to the survey data and any changes in the survey will be automatically reflected in this text. So my, my goal in this video is just to kind of uh, show you um, a little bit about what you can do to format these labels. And then I think you're going to take it from here. I think you're going to say, what if I, and then try it and see if it works. And, and if it provides a label that you like or a label formatting that you like, uh, save it in those, in those Traverse drawing settings and reuse it over and over again. Uh, and you're going to find that uh, Traverse PC can get you a long way down the road for uh, placing these labels, aligning these labels, uh, formatting these labels without you ever having to edit a line label. And, and that's what we're after. We want this to be fast and fun and friendly for you. Um, and, and I think it's actually, you know, it's going to replace that tedious part of the drafting with a kind of a gee whiz, wow, lo lo look at that. And, and I didn't have to go in and, and spend my afternoon uh, doing all that, that labeling. So enjoy this. Uh, have fun with the uh, line label formats. And uh, make sure you uh, send us a picture of your, your uh, plats and your maps. And, uh, and uh, we'll put them up on the website.